Hi guys, so I had a few issues when I was trying to set up my Focusrite Scarlet 2i2 fourth generation. And so I'm gonna share with you these uh, answers, these solutions that I found to the problems I ran into. So the first thing you wanna do is go to focusrite.com, support, downloads, how we download the drivers for our, uh, for our device. So um, I've already downloaded the Focusrite Control 2, which comes with the drivers. That's all you need to do for my particular device. But when I installed it, I was getting a blue screen and it's something that has actually been seen by quite a few people because it's documented on the Focusrite support forum and I'm going to paste a link to this into the description of the video. But basically the issue is I had some McAfee software which came with my PC and um, this software includes this particular file which causes issues so I think it's, it's out of date. So what I had to do was I restarted my machine in safe mode and then renamed this file. So it's in C Windows System32 drivers and you can see I just renamed it. Um, I didn't want to delete it in case it broke something and I needed to get it back so I renamed it and then I restarted my machine and that got rid of this issue. That led me to the next issue with the installer and again this has been documented but on some devices, you've got old Visual C++ runtimes that need to be deleted. So it does mention the solution here is to remove old C++ redistributable installations. So what you can do is go to like the same place you would go when uninstalling an application, search for C++ and you can see these Microsoft Visual C++ are the ones that you would want to get rid of. So I, I remember I deleted a um, all of the older ones, I just left the 2015, the latest ones, and ran the installer and that helped me to get past that issue. And finally, the third issue was actually to do with the hardware itself. So if you go to the device manager, what you should see is that you should see Focusrite Audio and also within the sound section you should also see Focusrite, but that was not appearing for me. So check the front of your interface and there's a little USB symbol which should be green but mine was white which means it was receiving power but not able to transfer information to my PC and actually the issue was because a Focusrite had sent me a dodgy cable so I was surprised at that and I just replaced the cable with the one from my phone charger which is like the same it's a USB-C to USB and then that worked so again I was surprised that they sent me a dodgy cable but um, you know, such as life. So I spent hours trying to figure this out. Um, so th the solution I would recommend is try a different cable, try different USB slots on your machine. Um, especially if you're using a USB hub, you might be better avoiding using the hub and going straight into one of the USB slots in your machine. So those are the solutions that I found and I hope this is helpful to you guys.